Come. We can, we can, it's, it's like a. It's just, it's, come here, come here. That was cute. Okay, that was cute. All right. Mm. Oh, don't same. break the table same. now. Okay. Okay. That was sweet, babe. Thank you. Yeah, that's real. Awkward. <laughs> you know what? No. All right, so, <laughs> all right, guys, so what? <laughs> What's going on, world? It's your boy Rick. This is Dad. This is LMC Talk, where we talk about love, marriage, and of course, everything can be discussed about a great cup of coffee. I know, that's right. Day, every day, 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 day. You know, if you go, I, I go. I, I know. I, you I know move, why. I, I move, you move, I just like that. I should not do that. Should not do that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, listen, guys. Um, if this is the first time you visited us, because um, I'm your helpmate, ain't that right? I know. It's the first time you logging on I to help us. you with the foolery. If it's the first time you logging into us, <laughs> you make you. Sorry. I, can, can, Sorry. I, can I? Can I? Get All my, right. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> if it's the first time you logging into us, man, or watching us, um, just gotta say. Go ahead and like, share, subscribe. Make sure you just hit that notification button so we can know when the videos are coming out and when we're doing our thing, okay? What he said. All right, so um, first we gotta hit the tidbit of the day so she's gonna let us know what that is. Babe, what's that? At? All right, so it turns out marriage can change your personality and not in an entirely good way. Marriage can change your personality. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, according to a scientific paper, marriage actually changes people. A research team at the University of George tracked 169 heterosexual couples in their first 18 months of marriage and found significant personality changes in both men mm, and women over that's time. Interesting. That's interesting. Husbands become less extroverted while wives become more closed off. However, in better news, Husbands become more conscientious. Mm. Which brings us to our title, is marrying the wrong person, will it stifle your potential or personality? If marrying the wrong person will stifle your, your potential, potential or, personality. or personality. So marrying the wow. wrong per person, will, will that stifle your potential or personality? I think that stifle... All right, so on the, on the thing that you said, you said mm -hmm. that um, a lot of the people ended up being more conscientious with the guys. Well, the husbands. The husbands. and mm -hmm. So it it tends to, because yeah, have you seen like couples, um, you notice that when they get together for a certain period of time, it seems they as start acting like they start acting like each other. Mm -hmm. It's weird, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, this doesn't even start looking like each other. It's true. It's the weirdest thing. It's the weirdest thing, but it's true. Yeah, you, it's like the family as a unit start looking the whole. The kids look like this, mm -hmm. one another, and everybody just look the same. Yeah, yeah after a while, crazy. It's the weirdest thing. But the man probably is not. If he was an aggressive man, and the woman is kind of like a more calm girl, then I would say it probably would balance out his personality sometimes. You know, if the, the guy would probably get a little bit more calm because his wife is more calm, and uh, and vice versa. You know. Um, just like with me, and you. I was just about yeah. to say so it. I was just I'm about to say it. I'm more the laid back person, but and I'm the turn up queen. Turn down for what? And you're the turn up. So what? End up the turnip. Not turnip. This is turnip. It's turn up. Did I say turnip? Yeah, you did actually. I probably, I probably said turn. I'm hungry, bro. All right, listen. Right now, I'm seeing my personality change with a certain things. Meaning, you know, I get I'm a little bit more sharp when it comes to certain cause things. Because I upgraded you. That's what Beyonce said. Okay. Oh, all right. Just you used to be the block, but I'm the lights that keep the streets on. All right. So now we. <laughs> I hear you I'm be the same. block, but, but I'm the light that keep the streets on. Vice versa, though, right? So meaning that you know you're a little Pana, bit more Pana, calm. Let me up. Are you done? Are, are you done? No, but that's true though. Yeah. On a real, that is true. You have made me a lot more calmer. You've let me, you've taught me to walk away from people, places, and things without feeling like I have to fight, whether it be physically, <laughs> whew, whew, you know, or verbally. Yeah. You yeah. know, I've learned to walk away and feel okay about it. And you've taught me that because I felt like growing up, I feel like 
I'm not supposed to let you get away with nothing. If if it's tit for tat, if you go and I'm going and I could yeah. go harder and you taught me that I don't have to do that all the time. And I feel like a grown up because of that, you guys. I feel so grown because like, you know, I can walk away and I can feel like. No, but you see now, but th this is the thing too. The older you get, the more you have to lose. Why you have to put the old in it though? <laughs> Because you try me right now. So you say because I'm old, that's why I'm more mature? No, I'm just saying, like... I don't like that. Okay, I'm just saying, the longer you live on so this So tune earth, in, okay. you know, <laughs> tune in for the next episode. Because, like... She's like, I'm done. Because you just... No, I'm, okay, I'm saying, right? Oh, I'm saying, like, it's good. Just like I just said, you're more conscientious so now whenever even myself or yourself if something goes down you want to think more you're thinking more of just yourself right and you're thinking about what's going to happen with my my family what's going to happen with my kids True. what's going to happen and um the repercussions of that you lord think the wrestling in your head yeah Exa but it's, exactly. it's, a, it's a wrestle on the flip side of that yeah because that's a positive side that's right a positive side yeah we were going to talk about the negative side of this yeah. as well you want to yeah. start first? Yeah, Go because ahead. I've seen couples, mm -hmm. seen couples that one person in that couple is super calm, mm -hmm. all right, and they with somebody now that is super turned up, and it ends up being that the person that was calm, all of a sudden, they talk louder, they, um, they're more aggressive. For no reason. For no reason. Um, uh, they seem like they're always mad whenever they're talking to you, like, and I'm like, when does this happen? I, mm -hmm. I've grown up with you and you know, you never was like this and because that personality trait is coming from the other person. The other person just true. the same way. So you yeah. gotta be really careful yeah. that first of all, you're marrying somebody that will probably balance you in some, some way because both of you guys can't be turn ups. Can you know, as you as you said that, big up to your wonderful aunt, Pastor Shaw, Joan Shaw. And one of the things that she taught us is that it's like a battery, like in a relationship, the, you know, the negative and the positive. Y'all know yeah. how that battery got to be turned. And with that power comes. So it's like if both of us are turned up, there's no power. If both both of us are turned turn down, there's no power. Yeah. But one up and one down, a whole lot of amount of power. It's like the song... You know, I'm a movement by myself, but I'm a force when we're together. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah. saying? One like can that. chase chase a thousand, two can put ten thousand to flight, all that good stuff. I like that. It's just it's, it's I have that picture in my mind of, yeah. of the man standing and the woman standing and it, you know, it, one is not supposed to be ahead of the other. It's supposed to be um kind of a back to back situation where both mm -hmm. of you guys have your back mm -hmm, to mm -hmm, to mm -hmm. each other and you guys are looking in direction right. just protecting in right. all the directions it's coming from. Ooh, so yeah, if both of you guys good. are 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 or two turn turned up, up or, yeah. or both of you guys are too turned down, that could hurt you too. Because things could happen in your life that could affect you. And, you know, nobody wants to make, um, make a move or, or do something that is necessary in order for you guys to move to the next level. So that could hurt your family too. That could hurt your family too. And can I you, even... Like you're not bold enough to do it. And that's true. That's absolutely true. And can I add another layer to that? Another layer to that for me is being in a relationship that does not allow you to be yourself yeah because if being with you doesn't allow me to be me then i i'm gonna feel stifled like you know how what what we said earlier is that you kind of calm me down but it's like you didn't out my fire my fire just needed to be what's that word mm -hmm. i'm looking for it needed to be tamed mm -hmm. maybe yeah, yeah. you know so it's like you're not looking for your spouse to like out your change entire who you change are. who you are yeah. out your fire or you know turn your light off or dim your light what you're trying to do is to hone it so you kind of fine-tune it a little bit so a relationship should not make you feel less than it's like you should allow me to elevate to be my best self and if i feel like in a relationship i'm starting to feel like because I have a bigger personality or because I have a better job or because I have a lot more going on than the next one, then I can't be myself. Then I'm starting to feel stifled and then I feel unhappy. And case in point, um, even with Megan Good and... Um, yeah, Megan Good. And, and, the and, and the pastor, Devon Franklin, right? Yeah. And 
it's just that I think they really did love each other for real. But I think the personalities clash because I started to see a shell of herself because she no longer could act or, or in the movies that she normally acted in because she was now with a pastor. He, he says something different, but I feel like if this is the way you met me, then you're going to have to accept me along with the job that comes along with it. Unless we agree beforehand that we're no longer going to do it. And I agree. And even if I said in the beginning that I'm not, but I changed my mind, we should be able to have the conversation so you could meet me halfway because what you don't want is me being in a marriage unhappy because or then just, I'm going to start resenting you. Or just you know? don't be with that person, period, because... If you start, but what if you feel like you want that person, but then you start feeling like things change and can't we meet halfway? Yeah, you gotta find some kind of compromise when it comes to that. And sometimes people don't like to hear that word. To be completely compromise, honest, compromise. But that's to a big thing in marriage. You should it's have. It's a big you thing have because to. you feel as though you can just be like your total turn up self in your marriage. You know, there's there's way that you can ways you can channel that. Yeah. When it's necessary. Yeah. We do things when it's necessary. As I said, you're more conscientious, so you're going to be thinking more about when you do things. Yeah. So you're going to have to pick when you do things. It's just like a boxer. If, if, if a guy's been, you know, punching people out in the streets his whole life, and then he finds a mentor, the mentor is not going to tell him not to punch anybody anymore. What he's going to do, put him in a boxing ring. Mm, so, mm, so, so basically, he's going to say, use what you have, your mm. power that you have, because that anger and everything that you have, that you can channel it yeah. in a different way yeah. so it can be kind of like you're calling to your do. Call, yeah, yeah, your because, call. Because, yeah, because it's, I feel like the rest of the relationship is just the same way. Okay, I, go ahead. No, I don't say this. I'm not 100% believe in the Megan good thing because that's another story we're going to have to talk about at another time because I don't know how it would actually take that. I'm not sure. Because when once she got married, I, th I thought that she would kind of tone that down a little bit. I know it's her job for her to do that. But, and she still got to pursue what she wants and loves. Yeah. Uh, they don't really need so, the money like that. So but maybe, so, so maybe there's a resentment that loves. started to build. And, and, that's, a resentment. And, and, and that's the problem there. You said something and I wanted to ask you a question because you have changed a lot. Um, between, of course, the, or the beginning of our relationship to now. And... You are still fun, but it's like you toned down in a way that I didn't think was necessary. And we've had this conversation and you yeah. said because you feel more like an adult and you have to do an adult things. Yeah. But why yeah, are we not I'll, keeping that kid part I about know, us? I know, I play, I played around a lot when I was growing up. It was so fun. I like that. When we you. met, I was super fun when it comes to certain things. Yeah. I, after a while, I, I feel it's just life in itself. Sometimes beats you down a little bit and then it makes you calm down a little bit and it kind of makes you get a little bit more boring, to be completely honest. I'm, t I'm just talking my own experience. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It, it, it made me feel like, you know, if you do certain things, you're just going to look silly because you're, now you're older. Because now you're caring about what people think this you what care that more sounds about like. What, which, which is just like when you're But young if it's not hurtful to anybody, why would you care that much about what people think if you, it's not hurting you're, anybody? You're completely right. You're completely right. I'm not saying that what I did or the adjustment that I made is right. Because now that I look back at it, I'm like, who cares about what people think or, or do anyway? You know what I mean? So I, I know exactly what you're saying. Yeah. It's the same thing with you. Um, whenever, uh, when I just met you, you're No, you're I was a lot more, more serious, actually. You're a lot more serious. And I had to get her to laugh. I had to get her to have yeah, fun with certain things. I was way things. serious. She was super serious. And then, you know, we kind of, at some point, started balancing, balancing each other out. And right now, I feel as though we're at a good balance. Mm -hmm. When it comes to just... Um, how we take care of our daily life and, and everything else and the kids. So I feel good about it. Yeah, we're at a good balance because this is the thing about being in a relationship too. It's like you got to learn how to um, teeter. Is that the word I'm looking yeah, for? Yeah. And, you know, you got to, okay, you got to be so in tune with your relationship. Even if the scale is not like me, then like completely halfway yeah. but we can't be too far above yeah. or beneath and this each is with other everything. it's not it's not just with personality yeah, agreed, and everything else. agreed i'm talking everything. about everything that you guys are doing everything. financing yeah the, uh, whatever you guys are doing try to find a way to involve your spouse somehow yeah okay so both of them can feel empowered like they like they're they're contributing to the relationship yeah 
okay, with the kids. You can't, you, the, the woman just can't be having the kids the whole time and taking care of the whole house the whole time so the man doesn't know what's going on with the kids. Right. Or they, and then vice versa. You, you can't, so... And, 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 and even to go back to really what the topic is, I've had, and I've had different women come to me and I've heard many different stories. I've had women that came to me and said, my husband doesn't like me now that I've started wearing makeup and he wants to, he wants me to no longer wear makeup. I'm just getting interested in it. I started out in marriage without, you know, liking mm -hmm. makeup, but now mm -hmm. I do and he doesn't like it. But that's not fair to her because that means she's growing yes. and he has to learn to accept it. Now he's accepted oh it. Now he's accepted it. Another, another point is I want to go out all the time. My husband does not. Yeah. But then I, but so how is that fair to me? So now you got to find a balance of the husband wanting to go out and you would prefer the husband to plan all the events, but he's not planning it. So I'm saying to her, well, you start planning them. So yeah. what has started to happen is as she started to plan them, guess what? He got on board. Now he's planning them too. So you got to sometimes just meet your partner halfway yeah, so y'all could yeah. get to that, that common ground. You know what I'm saying? Because you don't want to stifle whatever it is that makes you happier, you know, because life is already hard and being in a marriage is super duper hard. I've, I've seen um, relationships where the, per, the person, your spouse, the spouse is not um, uh, really on board when it comes to their dream. Because of, of course we go. I've heard that too. You know, we go through the whole thing of you know we all working, we all doing our thing, but everybody has a dream. What's on your top passion? Of that. What's yeah. your passion? What do you think you're on this earth to do? To do. You know what I mean? So, you know, I've seen occasions where people like the person say the person wants to sing, and this person is now a little bit older. You know, not necessarily in the normal singing range, range of time frames right. or where it should be, and this person is still passionate to sing. You gotta still support, support that person's support dream. Yeah. It doesn't matter how old they Don't get. Don't lie though. If you can't sing, baby, listen. No, but I'm let <laughs> me sit you down, honey. Let I'm not saying if the person is talented i'm just saying okay. they're talented because don't don't um, be lying yeah you're not gonna lie to your spouse for an entire you know 20 years saying that babe you can sing you can sing and you know they really can't sing yeah you're don't, li do don't lie to me yeah tell so, me the truth but i'm saying if you see like they're talented in something always support their talent or where they yeah, are yeah and, and and say hey babe you know i know it's been three years we've been doing this and working why don't you get back on your singing yeah. Let's see if we can record one, one, one. You never know what this this can do to your spouse in uh, regards it, to just it, putting it, it this goes positive a long energy. Way. It goes a long way. It goes a long Man, way. This positive energy in your in your spouse. Like for instance, I knew my wife always. Um, uh, she she used to rap. She used to do a whole bunch of things. But this is the thing, I believe her oh. strength is really in her speaking. How our tone comes across, and, and I think there's a lot that has to do with that. Meaning that the reason I'm bringing that up is because. Um, Minister to me. We, it's because we, um, uh, we, we pivoted. So we basically say, all right, well, we're not going to be doing the rapping thing or whatever it is because of time <laughs> Listen, frame, for y'all that don't know me, I get, I get busy. <laughs> One day I'm going to get busy. <laughs> huh. Huh. But I'm saying, okay. I'm, just, <laughs> I'm using that as an example because you eventually said, all right, you know what? Let's pivot it because... The true um, essence of your rapid is your voice, and everybody mm. loved her voice. And so I I'm hated saying, it. Let's use your <laughs> voice to do different things. Mm -hmm. And I think just you, you using your voice to do different things. I'm very proud of you actually doing other other things. You know what I mean? When it comes to that, I like it, don't don't be weird. Okay. It's, Thank it's, you. It's, it's not. I don't. I don't like. Give me a kiss. I appreciate it. Come on, okay. come. We can. We can. It's, it's like that. It's just, just. Come here. Okay, come here. Reach. That was cute. Okay, that was cute. All right. Mm. Oh, don't break the table, table now. Okay. Okay. That was sweet, babe. Thank you. Yeah, that's real. Awkward. <laughs> you know what? No. All right. So, all right, guys. So, what is the moral of the story? Ah, uh, wow. The moral of the story for me is um, allow your spouse to be free and to be happy and to be themselves and support them. Yeah, let them be themselves. But also, if there's something that needs to be toned down, 
then and and, and tame still listen to your spouse and tone it down yeah. it's all in the delivery right so if yeah. he's you know your spouse him you know if your spouse in this case my husband is delivering it the right way and i did realize after a while that yeah i needed to tone it down and i can't fight for everything and argue for everything so it's nothing wrong with that however even with me toning it down i'm still allowed to be me he accepts my crazy self i you know go off on a tangent i dance i laugh and i do crazy crazy things and i love that he allows me to be me because you gotta this, do that if we are lifers he, i gotta be free so you gotta, be free. I, I gotta like the person that i'm with yeah I gotta like some parts of their personality. Yeah, maybe yeah. not everything, but like, yeah. I gotta like some parts of it. I'm just saying. I'm not saying. Um, what I is your say, moral? I would say maybe eighty or ninety percent should That's should good be good enough. Um, What's same, your moral? Same thing with me. Moral of the story is that hey, um, let people be themselves. Um, you know, don't try to really change who they are. You just gotta uh, redirect where they put their. Oh, because I hated into. video games. By the way, I didn't even put that in. How much I hated video games, and now I accept it. Yeah. Oh God, I, I hated then, it. Then, yeah. Then now we're playing games as a family. Yeah. All, all yeah. Of us, you so. Know what I mean? So. Um, so yeah, the, there it is. You pivoted and you said, you know what? Let me let me see what this is all about. What's the, all the Cause, hoopla? Because it made you wow. so happy. It makes yeah, exactly. You know? uh, and then same thing now. Now you feel good about the stuff yeah. that we do with the games. Yeah. All right. So um. So yeah, that's kind of like the it is what it is. You know what I mean? Yeah. All right. So. Guys, thank you so much for joining us uh, this week. Um, I just want to say, if you, it's your first time here again, just go ahead and like, subscribe, and make sure you uh, smash that notification button. And um, this is Love Marriage Coffee. Rick and Deb, we out. We'll see you next time. Peace. Peace.